We're here at Oak Hills High School with good news for the Loveland Tigers. The Tigers victorious 35-7 to against the Oak Hills Highlanders at the old high school where uh, former UFC middleweight champion Rich Franklin used to teach. Let's talk about going into this game. The Loveland Tigers were definitely the favorite coming in with that 2-0 record against the Highlanders, which were 1-1 with a loss against a very tough LaSalle High School and a 28-7 victory against Harrison last week. They also have an offensive threat in running back DeMarco Ruffin, who's getting looks at by several Division I colleges, including Western Michigan. And Oak Hills is one of the largest high schools in the state of Ohio. However, that stat is a little misleading because in this area you see a lot of those private Catholic schools picking off some of those more talented football players, which is why Oak Hills tends to uh, not be a huge threat year after year. But uh, last year they lost 17-0 to against the Tigers and tonight they almost got shut out again, only scoring within uh, a couple minutes left in the fourth quarter. In fact, there was about 7.9 quarters of football where Oak Hills had not scored a single touchdown against the Loveland Tigers, or a point for that matter. Also, let's talk about going into tonight what Oak Hills did to combat the Loveland Tigers. We'll talk about it a little later with Coach Cranford, but what they did is they stacked the box uh, to, for them to take Nate Slagle out as a as a threat in the game. However, what that did is that opened up the passing game and outside for Luke Waddell, the freshman phenom, to come in tonight and have a heck of a game. He had, uh, I believe, three touchdowns and over 170 yards. A very impressive game for a freshman. Might I add that again just to kind of drive that point home. And also, it was a great defensive showing. Leading the Tigers tonight was Eric Pop, Chris Sackett, and his brother Darren Sackett, or I could say Darren Sackett's brother Chris Sackett. Doesn't matter, they both did great tonight. All right, next Thursday, big game for the Tigers at Glen Estee High School on Thursday. That's a seven o'clock start time on a Thursday night. It'll be on Fox Sports Ohio. If you can't make it down to the game, I'm Ricky Mulvey at Oak Hills High School for Loveland Magazine TV.